YouTube. Um, she sound like a man because we just woke up. It's Brie. And it's Ray. And uh back at it again. With some bullshit. Like always. <laughs> we Psycho bitches. We both had some experiences dealing with some psycho ass females. Actually, most of the females I've ever dealt with were psycho broads. So I'ma just mine's real quick. Get right to the point. I met this girl off of Instagram, right? Like, I don't, like, I'm not like a person that just be kicking it with the Instagram folks or anything like that, but I could socialize with them, you know what I'm saying? So I started socializing with this girl or whatever, right, bro? And she, like, she was texting me and stuff like that. We was all good. Next thing you know, she went crazy on me. When I tell you crazy, she started sending me pictures of her cutting herself because of me. Like blood and knives on the on the table. And then I would FaceTime her and she wouldn't answer. Cause like you sending me these pictures, now I'm concerned, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why you wouldn't answer the phone. So then I'm like, bitch, none of this shit is real. Cause obviously like if you don't want me to see it like for real for real then you're not really doing nothing you know what i'm saying this is like some fake ass shit right now like and it's like i never saw the the point of like penetration like a cut or anything i saw the blood you feel me so i saw blood and nah so it's an assumption but still like why for what you want some sympathy from me i ain't nobody like i was here i was talking to you it wasn't like you needed like to force my attention so that was my psycho experience. I think I've only dealt with, no, I've dealt with, like, I think two girls who threatened to do stuff like that. But, like, one of them, though, like, we was, I mean, we was tight. We was in a relationship. And, like, you know, we had some time on us. So, of course, you know, when you're breaking up with somebody or you having issues with somebody you got time with, you know, their mindset ain't all the way there sometimes. So she is, like, she was nuts like she was so crazy so we'll get into it and then now all of a sudden she'll like blow my phone down blow my phone up and all of that type of stuff and then she'll be like um she'll make stuff up to make me like get over myself because at the end of the day her health and her being okay was more of my concern she'll make up some stuff like this guy is following me. Cause like when we get into a show, walk away from me and go. Do I know this person? Go, yes. Okay. And go wander anywhere and all types of stuff. And she'll just be like, somebody is following me. This man is following me. And, and I don't feel comfortable and I'm scared and stuff like that. Or she'll call me and be like, I swear I will kill myself and, and all types of... I don't understand, like... Like, she would be like, I'm going to kill myself or try to kill me. Like, what we'll, is, be, what is, we'll what be is driving. What is the we'll point be of driving this stuff, though? And she'll be just like, I don't care about shit. And okay, I've done that. I've done that to Ashley. I ain't did like, I don't care about shit, but I've been on that thread and said, I'll kill both of us right now. Only because I was angry, but I'm not saying I would never kill both of us. I'm not, I'm not saying that, like you know, I've had nutty. my psycho moments, like you know, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a wrap if I can't have you. Nobody can, you know, stuff like that. But um, <laughs> I got over that. Like I'm over that. I would not do that. Like I have come to the conclusion, like if it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. I'm very open to you know new ideas. If you cut become interested in somebody else, communicate it with me, and we'll go from there. Like it is what it is. Like you have to you have to let shit go. So sometimes you just gotta let it go. But no, Shorty was like really really nuts. Or she'd be like, she'd be like uh, she didn't stay out. We didn't see each other often. So like we'll get into it. And she'd be like. My mama just beat me up and like lying. She'll be lying. So when she um was actually like, you know, I could never trust when she actually needed me or didn't need me. Like I could never trust it. Like ever. 
and she always be like she's gonna kill herself and all that type of stuff and i'll just be like i don't know if i should be there for you or if i should really leave you alone because that is not safe like i shouldn't have to be in a relationship that i have to worry about you going to that extent when we not good like you you know you people have to learn how to be able to argue without having to go to that like result and you cutting yourself and killing yourself over a person right. like that's just steep so my next story right i don't know if i should tell because the girl actually watches like she subscribed so hey i mean if anybody that we have ever dealt with in our lives watch our videos and you happen to be the topic of discussion i'm sorry like we just letting people know have inside of our lives so you know shorty this is for you all right. <laughs> so, yeah, so I met this girl at church or whatever, right? She was real cute to me. Um, she had a big booty, you know. Brielle, go for it. Hey, hey. <laughs> but, yeah, so I was like, okay. I was really digging her and shit like that, right? So, then she told, she told me that she had some disease or something like that, right? Like some illness that was going to kill her and that she was going to die in like so many months i don't remember how long because like i think this was like the beginning of my high school career and i'm all like sad because you know i don't i don't do that type of stuff like i felt bad you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't play with health issues because that, that that shit is serious like don't don't play with me about that type of stuff just because you want my emotions and stuff like that and so like i'm all concerned you know what i'm saying like i i do my thing by you know keeping up on her her stuff you know what i'm saying did you do this today y'all what you doing you know blah 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 and she was just a lying why the fuck you lying why you always lying just lying and then next thing you know it's years later and bitch is still alive yet still here Has healthy <laughs> healthy as fuck smoking weed and all healthy hey weed might have been her remedy Sorry, I really don't believe it. I that doubt it that it could just heal from dying in a couple of months to live in a long, healthy couple of years. Hey, it's been about eight, eight years or not. I think nine years since we've since we started high school. It's been about like nine years, my nigga. But yep. So I, I find that to be pretty darn crazy. Do you still talk to her? No. I mean, well, we spoke to each other like via like Snapchat. Like, well, like she commented on my snaps or something like that. And I laugh back, or, and it'll be something like that. It'll be something simple, like a matter of like when I had got my hair dyed, it was like, oh, I like your hair color. It looks cute on you. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Thanks. <laughs> I got another one. It's more actually more recent, like the last couple of days recent. Um, couple of days. It's not a psycho like a a kill psycho. It's like crazy, like obsessive over me type of psycho. Um, and it's this girl, and she just we went to high school together cool i knew you in high school that don't mean anything i think she left my high school maybe my sophomore year um or my freshman year honestly i don't remember she was obsessed with me in high school like she used to like she was an irritant in high school she used to like smack my booty in the hallways and all that type of ignorant stuff like and say something didn't smack that thing <sighs> okay but not her okay? okay um cool let me see that was freshman year in high school nine years later where we are right now she done you know, hit me up on Facebook, asked me for my number. I gave it to her. Is this that stud? Yes. So I done gave her my number, not on no flirtatious type of thing, because I'm not looking for that. Not in her. Um, <clears throat> but just cool. Like we could be cool. Like she look she's a stud. She looked like me. Um, so then you know, I gave her my number. We talk, like text, regular conversation, then she started getting out of hand, asking me extremely personal questions about myself. Um I'm very open about like my sexual preferences, how I like things. I'm very open about my sex life, stuff like like stuff like that. I'm open about it just because I think sex is fluid and you should be able to talk about it and not feel uncomfortable. Like that's, you know, that's just me. Some of her questions I've answered, some of them I'll be like, no, I'm good. I'm not answering them. She implied that she wanted to have sex with me. Shut it down. That's not me. Mm -mm. There's a lot of things about you. It's just not going to happen. So she, um... I had let her know, like, look, if you don't stop talking to me in this manner, very sexual, only thing she talks to me about, all she tries to talk to me about is sex. Um, I had to let her know, like, look, it's not that. Like, you got one more time, I'm going to have to block you because you're being disrespectful. I'm good. So she went on her way and said something else out the way. And I had told her, like, I'm, I'm all right, don't say nothing else to me. What did she say? 
um she just basically was like well she had asked me was it is do am i sure that we'll never have a chance with e with each other or whatever and i'm like i'm positive so then like some time go by and she like never say never that pissed me off because i just sat there and told you i'm good g and you just still here you go still pushing the subject and right. she's been pushing this subject since i've given her my number like i she looked at and blocked her then um and then I never blocked her, but she was blowing up my phone. Blowing my phone up and blowing up my text messages, y'all. Like, I will show you, but I'm not that disrespectful. But, like, text messages and, like, begging me, like, obsessive begging me, telling me how much she needs me. She basically said she damn near obsessed with me. She, like, I don't know, like, on a whole nother level of psycho, bro. Like, no, no, fuck no. Like, I ain't never felt so confident in saying no in my life until her. You're like, annoying. and she just wasn't getting it. Like, wasn't getting it. And yeah, I think that is psycho. Like, if somebody say no and they stop talking to you, don't blow that shit up, bro. It's a wrap. Like, leave it alone. All right. Hey, YouTube. Thank you for watching our psycho bitches. Hey, don't be psycho out here, y'all. Just be easy. If you need some advice on how not to be psycho, talk to us. You know, come come talk to us. We'll let you know how to just be, be chill. Be calm. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. And you if could, it's the person that you really, really want and they just not giving you no play. We got we got some remedies for that too. Because you go. can have whoever you want. Let it go. You got to be up here. You can let get whatever go. girl or boy you want. You just have to know how to you're talk speak, to her. You speaking to her. Who? You speaking to her right now so she can have you. Okay, simmer down. No, she can't. She, Bro, you got her. You just got to learn the tricks of the trade. Yeah, okay. This ain't shit. Keep y'all. Look, this is not that, sis. <laughs> Our YouTube, um, y'all need to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. So, oh, them niggas. That's my